Good morning, Kilmer Community, home of the Koala Scholars. Today is Thursday, January 6, 2022. As you know, our core values are respect, responsibility, and empathy. And we have some SEL strategies, including calm breathing, positive leader. So make sure that you are practicing that each and every day. So today actually is um, a day called Dia de los Reyes, um, which means Three Kings Day, or it's known in other places as the Epiphany. So in Mexico and other Latin American countries, Dia de los Reyes is celebrated on January 6th to honor the three wise men. This holiday represents the day the three wise men gave gifts to Jesus and the day closes the Christmas festivities. I found an interesting um, thing that they do in Mexico. So during Dia de los Reyes, Me um, Mexicans serve Rosca de Reyes or King's Cake. Rosca means wreath and Reyes means kings. The Rosca de Reyes has an oval, an oval shape um, to symbolize a crown and has a small dot inside. The doll figures, uh, and so the, throughout here you might see some, there might be some doll figures that are baked into the cake. And, um, to, and those are supposed to represent Jesus. And traditionally, traditionally Roscas are adorned with dried um, and candied fruit to symbolize the many jewels that a crown would have. And the person who gets the slice with the doll must host a party on Dia de la Candelaria in February. So um, everyone gets a slice, but whoever has um, the, the little doll in it gets to host. Um, I want to go someplace that someone else is hosting. That's what I'd like. <laughs> So hopefully you found that interesting. I thought I'd bring back um, the word of the day. So here is the word dissociate, or more commonly in um, the US, we might say disassociate. So what does that mean? So these words dissociate and disassociate means to disunite. But I think it's important to look at like uh, look at the word separately to figure out um, what it means. So if you look at the word associate, and that is part of disassociate, okay? The a, uh, associate, the a, uh, it comes from the Latin word uh, um, ad, which means to or toward. And then sociare, which means to join. So associate means to join. And when you put the dis in front of it, it basically does the opposite of that. So it's like to, to sever or to, um, to not join or to um, break apart. So um, one way to use it in a sentence. So think about you and your peers in school. And you might have many friends. Some of your friends may not make the best choices. And if you can't encourage them to make good choices and to be leaders of positive, then you might consider disassociating from them. It doesn't mean that you have to be, it means you should still be you know, polite, but maybe you're not doing the things that they're doing or you're separating yourselves from some of that. So hopefully that helps. You can use that in a sentence um, in your writing. And um, yeah, I guess that's good. So Friday, which is tomorrow, is um, supposed to be our community meeting. We are also expecting some snow. So make sure you stay tuned um, to what's happening with, um, with snow. So sometimes when it comes to a, a meteorologist, the one who tells the weather, it can go either way. We can get lo lots more snow than they tell us we're gonna get, or we can get no snow. So what will it be tomorrow? You'll have to wait and see. All right. So on that, let's have a few jokes. And uh, <laughs> I love it. So Miss Savins, you know, she says to me, um, you know, like, I understand, you know, I understood one of your jokes from the other day. I'm like, which one? Which one? What do you mean? So I have some more jokes. 
and I'm curious if um, <laughs> if she'll get my humor. We'll see. So the first one, and this is goes to our um, you know our koalas, right? So why aren't koalas actually bears? They don't meet the qualifications. <laughs> Miss Satan, you better understand that one. I hope you do. <laughs> All right. Um, I was thinking about this one, but let's see if you get. Let's see if you get this. Why did the A go to the bathroom and come out as an E? Why did the A go into the bathroom? and then come out as an E, you know, like that whole idea of input and output. Because he had a vowel movement. <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> and last but not least, why don't seagulls fly over the bay? Because they'd be bagels. All right. Okay, so as you know, you're always welcome to send your jokes my way or even riddles. Riddles are always fun too. And on that note, what do I always say? Always be your best you and make today and every day a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.